Hi everyone, Angie here with King County 4-H. Welcome back to the Makerspace. For today's stone project, I will show you how to make the spun paper circuit card that was in your stone packets. So if you're ready, we'll get started. For step number one, take one of your long pieces of copper tape and you'll place it on the paper on diagram A. When you peel back the paper on your copper tape, make sure you only peel back a little bit at a time so the copper tape does not coil up on you. To start out, just start at the top of the diagram, pressing the copper tape down as you go. Remember to go slow and only peel off a little paper at a time. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the corner. The corners can be a little tricky. So to do the corner, when you get to the end, fold your copper tape back the opposite direction of where you want to go Show you that fold really quick. And then you can fold it back the direction of the pattern and keep going to the next corner. So we're gonna repeat that same step here. We're gonna stop, we're gonna fold it back the opposite direction, press it down, and then continue to the end of the line. If you have any tape left over, you can just Grab a pair of scissors and clip it off. Okay, we're gonna take the next piece of copper tape and follow diagram B. Doing the same thing. Remember to press it down as you go. And it does not have to be perfect. If you have creases in it, that's okay as long as you don't have any breaks in it. Those corners can be tricky, so just take your time. And then again, you can just clip off the excess. Okay. I'm gonna go back and press that down really good because I have a few creases in my tape, but this is what it should look like. Okay, now we're ready to place our LED. When you pick up your LED and hold it in your hands like this, one leg is shorter than the other. The short leg is the negative side, the long leg is the positive side. I'm gonna show you how to fold the legs of your LED. You wanna be very careful doing this so you don't break them. Just hold it in your fingers like this and very carefully work your finger in between the legs and press them straight out like this. Until it's flat and can be placed on your paper. Remember when you place it on your paper to follow the diagram, making sure that the short leg is on the left and the longer leg is on the right. Now that I have my LED ready, I'm gonna lay it down there and take my two short pieces. You have two short pieces of copper tape. You're gonna use these pieces to hold the LED legs in place. So I'm going to pull off my first piece of copper tape. As you peel that off, make sure you keep that flat. Then I'm going to hold my LED in place, making sure that the bulb is right over the red circle. And when I place down this copper tape, I'm going to put it on top of the existing copper tape. Remember, we're making a circuit, so we have to make sure that everything is connected. I'm gonna press it down really hard, and then I'll place the tape over the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side to hold my LED bulb in place. Okay, and when you're done, it should look like this. Okay, you're almost finished. Now, you have one more short piece of copper tape. We're gonna use this to make a loop of tape to hold our battery in place. So I'm gonna peel that off. Just gonna make a little loop here with my copper tape. just like that. And I'm gonna place it on top of the existing copper tape 
on the diagram where it shows the battery goes. All right, now it's time to place our battery. On your battery, you'll have a positive side and a negative side. The shiny side has a plus side, that's your positive, but the diagram says we need the negative side down. So make sure you put the negative side of the battery down. Okay, you're almost finished. You will want your parents to help you with this part. You'll wanna fold your card and on the front where you see the firework, you'll take a pair of scissors and poke a little hole, just big enough to put the bulb of your LED through the hole. Be very careful doing this part so you don't break the legs of the LED, but just gently push the bulb through the hole. And now, see the copper tape right there? When we push the home button of our phone and that copper tape connects with our battery, our circuit will work. So let's push our bulb back through there and see if our card works. There we go. Okay, if your card did not work, <laughs> mine wasn't working for a minute, and that's okay, if yours didn't work, this is a chance for you to problem solve. We gave you an extra piece of copper tape in your packet so look at your card, check all of your copper tape, make sure there's no breaks in it. Check your bulb to make sure that the negative side is the short side is on the left, and the positive side is on the right, and then make sure your battery is placed in the right position. I hope you had fun making this card and learning how to complete a circuit. But now that your project's done, I want you to think of an essential worker that you can share this card with. There are so many people out there right now working hard so that you can stay home and stay safe. So find someone special to share your card with, and then we'll see you next week for another Funstone project. Thank you.